Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Jim, the Iowa Tesla guy. Now, I follow all the forums and the Facebook groups and Reddit groups for Tesla, and it seems to be a lot of chatter about, you know, don't run your climate controls in the wintertime because it kills your range. Does it? Um, well, I'm an engineer, so I thought I'd put it to a test, and, you know, let's see what science-ish tells us. So how am I going to test this? Um, do I just turn on the heat and let it sit in my driveway for a while? Well, that's not how people drive. Um, it's not how I drive. I drive. So I thought maybe the best way to go about doing this was to actually drive with and without the heater and see what happens. So what I did was I did four tests and I had two tests with the climate controls on and two tests without the climate controls on. So why two each? Well, I did them at two different outside temperatures. It just so happens that it kind of worked out for me. I did two tests in the low 40s Fahrenheit and I did two tests in the low 20s. And I wanted to see just how much the cabin temperature used as far as wattage and power consumption in those two temperatures. And my gut was telling me that the colder it is outside, the more heat and energy it takes to, to warm the cabin and, and the more of a range problem I'm gonna have. So what I'm gonna show you is what I figured out. So here it is. So in this 30 mile loop test, I'm running at 25 degrees Fahrenheit outside and just two bars on the seat heater. Now, the backside of me is nice and toasty, but I do have to admit that the cabin temperature is getting a little cold. According to my app, it's 46 degrees inside the cabin and you can feel it. It's cold. It's things I do for science. So about now I would cut to a video montage showing you all of these four tests and all of these four drives. I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm gonna actually just cut to the chase here. I ran the four tests and I threw it into a spreadsheet. That's what engineers do and I massaged the data as best as I could and this is what came out the other end. Um, in test one and two, I ran at about 45 degrees Fahrenheit and I did my 30 mile loop. So what did I find out? Well, on test one, I pulled about 260 watts per mile, which I thought was pretty good given the temperature. Doing the math in the Model Y, um, I figured out that that turns into about a range of about 304 miles for the entire zero to 100%. Now, test two was the exact same test, and I ran it with the cabin temperature on. First one was without. And what I found was is that it pulled 270 watts per mile. And that turns out to be about 293 miles of range in my Model Y. So after this test, I only lost about 10 miles of range, which actually I thought was pretty good. So what happens when it gets colder? Well, this is what I found out. So on test three and test four, we are running about 20 to 25 degrees Fahrenheit, which is actually rather cold, it's below freezing. And without the climate controls on, I ran the same 30 mile loop with about 315 watts per mile. That calculates out to about 251 miles of total range. Test four, exact same thing, about the same temperature, low 20s, and I pulled about 328 watts per mile on that test that calculates out to about 241 miles of range. And you run the math, and what it comes out to is that running the climate controls at this temperature lost me 10 miles of range. So what I was really surprised to see was there wasn't that much difference, or there was almost no difference between 45 degrees Fahrenheit and 25 degrees Fahrenheit. It was actually quite amazing. So getting back to the reason for this test to begin with, which is basically the big question is, does using the climate control kill your range? Well, the answer is technically, yes, it does hurt your range. Um, for me in this test, it was very non-scientific, but in, in my real world test that I put it through, whether it was 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Fahrenheit, I lost an equivalent of about 10 miles of range. So do I think that's worth it to be nice and toasty in the cabin? Absolutely. I would. So at this point, I have no hesitation running the climate controls 
when I'm doing my normal commute. Now, if I was going a very long distance and I was concerned about not making it to a supercharger and I needed those 10 miles and it's super cold outside, um, I might make different decisions. But basically, use the climate controls. Um, it's pretty much what it's there for. So, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. It's very important uh, to support the channel, and I do appreciate it. Um, also, Baymax appreciates it too. So, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.